Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Walter. I'm an Associate Professor of Neurosurgery and Oncology here at the University of Rochester, and I'm also the Director of the Program for Brain and Spinal Tumors here at the University. So you may have heard that the World Health Organization recently convened a panel of experts that reviewed the data on cell phones and cancer, and particularly the potential role that cell phones may have in causing brain tumors. They reviewed a variety of previously published studies. There were no new studies and no new data that they had access to other than what was already available to scientists and physicians worldwide. A lot of the data they used came from a large study called the Interphone Study, which was completed and published about a year ago. And what they concluded from that was that there was a possible risk of brain tumors uh, being caused by cell phones. Uh, not a probable risk or not that there is a risk or even that, that cell phones cause brain tumors, just that there was a theoretical risk at some level that there could be a link between the two. And so they added cell phones to a long list of, of other subjects, one of which is coffee and, and a variety of other substances we use every day that are so-called possible carcinogens. The National Cancer Institute maintains a database called SEER, which stands for Surveillance, Epidemiology, and End Result Database. And it's a standing uh, program run by the NCI, which looks at cancer rates across the country. So it gives us a standing uh, ability to, to look and see nationwide what, you know, whether cancer rates are going up, going down, uh, for what types of tumors are going up, for what types of tumors are going out, down, and also how patients are doing once they have a diagnosis of cancer, whether they're living longer, whether they're living shorter. So it's sort of a, uh, an ongoing report, if you will, of how we are waging the war on cancer. So one of the areas that they track are the incidence of brain tumors. And it turns out that the incidence or the frequency of new diagnoses of brain tumors has actually fallen over the last 25 years. And this is despite cell phones proliferating wildly uh, across the U.S. If you go back to 1987, uh, you know, it was very rare to have a cell phone, and now everybody's got them. If you look worldwide, the estimated uh, numbers that are maybe up to five billion cell phones nationwide, and, and it's estimated about three quarters of the world's population use them. So really in the last 20, 25 years, we've gone from sort of zero to 60 very quickly in terms of, in terms of cell phone use. And at the same time, during that same interval, we have seen a decrease in the number of, of brain tumor cases. So I think when you look at all of the data together, that is the most glaring piece of data that, that we can have, that there is probably not a very strong link, if any link at all, between uh, cell phones and, and brain tumors. I think one of the important things that people should look at is what the possible relative risk of this whole phenomenon is. And right now, our best estimate for, for someone born today is that they have about a 0.65% chance of getting a brain tumor sometime during their life, so uh, about half of 1%. If you compare that to all the other big health problems, uh, coronary artery disease, you've got about a 50% chance of getting that. Uh, diabetes, hypertension, obesity, these are all diseases that shorten our lives dramatically, and which we know all the, all the preventative factors and all the ways to, to go about trying to prevent these diseases. You know, if we're going to focus our public health dollars in, in things that we can prevent that are really going to help us as a society, we ought to focus on, on these issues and not you know, what I call a sort of a phantom of a shadow of a risk associated possibly with, with cell phone use. I think what we do right now is exactly the appropriate uh, thing to do, which is we maintain a database, we look for changes in the trends on, on tumor incidence, and if we do see an increase in brain tumor incidence in the next 10 years or 15 years, then, then we need to sort out why we're seeing it. It may be cell phones, it may be something else. But right now jumping to initiate a bunch of regulations that may or may not do anything or, or change our lifestyle in a way that you know may not be really accomplish anything that seems counterproductive to me.